from the IHTN studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello, Indian Hill. I'm Asher Weinstein. And I'm Emily Anderson. Today is National Save for College Day. So, Asher, how about that pep rally last Friday? Oh, well, everyone was certainly pumped and excited for our fall, for our fall sports, especially the seniors. We're going to jump right into it this week with a clip from last week's pep rally. Wow, it's awesome to see everyone so spirited about our school. And a huge congratulations to the girls lacrosse team for finally receiving their rings. I sure had a fun time. Now, let's get into sports. Last week, our girls tennis team demolished both Marymount and Walnut Hills with an amazing score of 5-0 in both matches. Not only were these impressive, but on Monday we had another game with yet another win. Keep up the good work, girls. Away from tennis and onto the football field, our dogmen traveled to New Richmond last Friday night and a group of our Braves fans made the trip as well. The dogmen came out on the top with a score of 28 to 19. Way to go Braves, check out the highlights of the game. The Indian Hill boys and girls cross-country teams participated in the Lakota East Classic Invitational at Voice of America Park this past Saturday. The boys team placed third and Ben Bayless set a new school record over the 5K course at 16 minutes and 15 seconds. Outstanding work. Keep moving, runners. Girls field hockey has taken off into their season. Last Thursday, the Lady Braves played against Oakwood in a bone-chilling match. Looks like it is going to be a fun season. Get a group together and make sure to come out and support the girls. The Vital Club is selling premium, limited edition t-shirts. The price is $15. Please see Mr. Millard or any Vital Club member for a shirt. The high school's literary magazine is now available free of charge. This award-winning publication features original writing and artwork by Indian Hill students selected by Indian Hill students themselves. Copies are available in the lobby of the high school. Stop by and pick up a copy today. Indian Hill has three seniors with perfect ACT scores this year. They are Joel Blackman, Richard Guad, and Cynthia Zhang. This is quite an accomplishment. Congratulations. Well, that's all for this week. We hope everyone has a great long weekend. Don't forget to sleep in tomorrow morning. Oh, I know I'll be sleeping in. But do come out and pack the stands for the first home game tomorrow night versus CHCA at Tomahawk Stadium. The game starts at 7 o'clock, so make plans to attend. It should be a great game. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, like our Bravesby Facebook page, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And as always, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. Hi, I'm Alex. You like origami? Here's how you do origami. Well, you gotta fold a piece of paper, piece of paper like this, and then you get this. Then you fold it like this. And you get this, all right? Third Thanks. fold. This is one of the last ones. Final product. 